Hey guys, long time no see. My name is Sharice. If you are new to my channel, if you're not, thank you for clicking on another video. Oh, wow, I'm stumbling over my words today. <laughs> so anyway, today is going to be a first impression Friday video and I'm gonna bust out some of my Ulta gratis. I have the Benefit Happy, um, hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. Um, this is a medium coverage liquid foundation and it has SPF 15 in it. And I got the shade 11 and then I have the um, Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation. Um, this is a dual coverage powder foundation also in the shade 11. So last month, was it last month? It might have been the month before, honestly, I can't remember. We had a little training at work. Um, it was Bare Minerals, Buxom. Bare Minerals, Buxom, um, and Benefit. And, um, and the Benefit portion of the training, we basically learned how to color match each other. Like we learned a new um, technique um, with color matching and then they talked to us about um, their two new products that they have coming out, I believe. These launch today, the day that I'm filming this, which is June 28th. Hopefully I get this up on June 20th, we'll see. Um, but this is what the powder looks like. My vanity is filthy, y'all. That's what the powder looks like. You have a little um, brush and a sponge in this little compartment down here. And this little heart is um, see-through, that's cute. So there you go. And then here is what the liquid looks like. I can't remember who she matched me. We'll see if they did a good job. <laughs> so I do work today. So this is going to be a full um, wear test. Let's not talk about my schwig right now. Um, I work, it's currently 8 a.m. Um, I work 10 to 6 today. So listen. <laughs> This isn't cute. It's gonna be a bad day at Ulta for this face. Um, so I don't have any primer or anything on, but I did use the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complex Prep Priming Spray. And um, I'm so awkward. Um, and basically the spray just absorbs some of the oils. Um, Honestly, y'all, I should have been had this video up because I've had this gratis since the 5th of June, I'm gonna say. We did the training last month um, and took like a few weeks for us to get our shades because what we did was they um, had the range. Um, they brought the range into the store and we just used um, that to do our shade matches and then they sent us our shades but anyway i've had it since the 5th of june i should have done a video but hmm. i'm not gonna put too much at first it looked super orange right like am i the only one that thought it was super orange um i can't remember So both the powder and the foundation, the liquid foundation, come in 12 shades. Um, they are both $30. Um, let's see, the powder is described as lightweight and breathable and mattifies all day. It has shea butter extracts for a soft, smooth feel. And it's a 12 hour wear. I will say that um, when we were testing out the powder, it's super, it is super soft. Like, it's like freaking butter, for real. Um, so I did like that about it. Now I didn't really wear it on my face all day or anything. It was just like a quick little swatch on my face. 
um and then that was that um the foundation is a medium coverage foundation it has spf 15 in it like i previously said it has photo um chromatic pigments in it so that just means that it adjusts um the foundation adjusts to like any light that you're in which is kind of strange but the way that they described it is like have you ever been to like sephora or ulta and they shade match you um the lighting in either store isn't that great but they'll shade match you and then you go outside and you're like no nah. no nah. so basically the photochromatic um technology basically means if it looks like this in this light in these studio lights it's gonna look like this in the natural light it's gonna look like this with my orange ass fluorescent lights like it's supposed to look the same no matter what so if you look crazy look crazy period um and the foundation as well is supposed to be a 12 hour wear um i can't remember how many pumps i did i want to say that was was that two or was that three I don't know but I've been trying to not do as much foundation lately just because it's super humid here in San Antonio I am a complete sweater like my face will melt off so I don't do too much foundation I'm gonna move on to applying my concealer and I'll be back okay so I do have some of the cover effects um, powder translucent powder under my eyes i think i'm gonna try out the benefit powder um i think i'm gonna put this like on my forehead my nose and maybe like my chin um and then for right now i'm just gonna use the little like sponge that it comes with I want to say that the powder is like slightly lighter than the actual liquid foundation. I think. I think. I think. And it's so like, it's so smooth, y'all. Like it's so. It smooths. Lately, I've been doing my brows after I do my foundation, but today, like for the video, I want to just go ahead and have my brows on, and I don't think I like them. Like lately, I've been loving my brows. Today, I don't love them. So I think I'm gonna go back to my doing them after um doing them after i have foundation on routine the powder is definitely like a little orange compared to the foundation i don't definitely feel like i have some different tones going on there i'm gonna just continue on doing my makeup all right y'all so it is a 52 and i'm officially done with my makeup for today i think i think i think i think um it doesn't look too bad i'm gonna be honest i feel like i feel like my nose is already getting a little oily so we'll see how that goes um I envisioned my makeup a little differently today and it didn't come out the way I wanted it to but what can you do so yeah I'm gonna go about my day I'll be back around maybe like 6 30 7 o'clock to see how my makeup held up um so yeah whoo all right y'all so it is 7 57 I am home from work um you see my face so i've had this makeup on for what 11 hours have not touched my face once like 
there was not a single blot so I looked like this all day well I didn't look like this all day but I this is this is why this is what I look like at work talking to customers about like yeah this is the best primer for oily skin why my skin looks like this Hmm. Hmm. I'm greasy as hell. Obviously, so like certain places like where there's no foundation right here and where there's no foundation right here doesn't bother me. My cat is losing her shit. Um, doesn't bother me because that's where my glasses sit. Okay, pickles. Um, that doesn't bother me because that's where my glasses sit. Um, my nose being oily isn't something that bothers me either because my my nose gets oily all the time this oily no my cheeks being this oily no my chin being this oily no um the forehead like i'm so oily like i'm i'm irritated at how oily I am. Let me see, I'm trying to find, trying to find something. Oh, here, I'll do this. I'm just gonna take this random ass brush and take some of this powder. Um, Y'all, I'm so fucking oily, I'm irritated. This area, like the nose area, is what really was irritating me at work. Um, like I could feel it. Um, it's, it's all over my glasses now. Foundation transferring on my glasses is normal, but it's like in the front, like it's, it's ugh. Usually when I have foundation transfer on my glasses, it's right here in the nose area and then like right here where it disappeared because it like sits on my it sits on my cheeks basically but it's in the front of my glasses too like i don't know if you're extremely oily i wouldn't get this um i'm gonna try the foundation again with oh, i shouldn't have put the brush back in there because i just remembered that during our little training that they did say that this would ch turn color um not to use not to put like anything damp or anything on it because it's gonna ruin the powder so that was me fucking up um i'm gonna try this again with my nars um what is that thing that i just bought i just recently purchased a nars primer the like pour and matte and pour primer from NARS um I'm gonna try this with that because honestly I didn't use any sort of primer or anything I mean I used the Urban Decay B6 spray but like an actual primer primer and not like a spray situation I didn't use that so I want to try this again maybe to not tomorrow because I work another eight hours tomorrow um but one of these days I'm gonna try it and see if that helps um but yeah i feel like if you're really oily maybe skip this foundation the one thing that i can say about this like the one good thing about this my smile lines my smile lines are not bad and usually i have really bad creasing right here where like once i'm not like this and once I'm not talking, you can see the separation. And there's no separation. Like, there's no separation. You just see my little lines. So that's a, that's one plus because all of my foundations, there's some sort of separation.